<laughs> That's the right song for this segment. The self-made jewelry mogul Kendra Scott created a billion dollar business starting with just $500. It's true. Back in 2002, Scott turned her jewelry making hobby into the Kendra Scott brand, working out of a spare bedroom in her home. Her mom was there to help. That was employee number one, basically. Over the next 20 years, she changed the jewelry world with her iconic designs and affordable prices. A good combo there. Now Scott is out with the memoir, Born to Shine, Do Good, Find Your Joy, and Build a Life You Love. She shares her life's journey to success and the lessons she's learned along the way. And Kendra Scott joins us now. Welcome. And Thank she's you. she's matching her book cover. I love oh, it. Everything I've got is something matching. yellow every day at the store. <laughs> so, and I know it's Gail's favorite color. Yes, so that's right. Be thrilled. That's Gail's thrilled. favorite color, and you're one of her favorite designers. I know she wears a lot of your stuff. That's she right. would love to be here. Uh, I, you know, usually when a person writes a book, you ask them what's the inspiration for the book. You're the inspiration for the <laughs> book. I mean, like all the stuff you've done. I, why'd you want to put it down on paper? You know, I think for me it was 20 year anniversary. So this is 20 years of my business going through 2020, as we all know, was such a difficult time. And I think from the outside world, everyone was looking at me going, Kendra Scott, she's on top of the world, everything's great. But I was also going through a personal low. Mm. And I had been journaling so many things and I thought, there's power in vulnerability. There's power to say that let's share the ups, the downs, the failures that led to a success. So many times you hear people say, you have to fail before you succeed, but you don't really hear the story of how that happened. And I thought if I could be vulnerable and share those things, maybe others could feel like they could as well. You know, I started making jewelry about 20 years ago. I spent about 500 bucks on my first outing. All right. And I gave it up after about five months. <laughs> I had I never so, heard that before. Oh, yeah. So why, how did you keep it going? Mm. I mean, you had a vision, obviously, but you couldn't have imagined this kind of success. Never in a million years. I mean, starting out of that extra bedroom, literally hand beating everything, going store to store in Austin, Texas with my baby son in a little baby carrier. And getting a lot of no's at first. Uh, totally. I mean, I fortunately, Texans are nice, but a few stores said no, and I had to get back in and go and try to do it again. 10 years, I tried to get investment capital. Nobody would invest in me. Yeah. I was in a tech-driven city. You're a designer out of Texas. Like, nobody was interested. Hmm. So a lot of no's along the way. But still having that perseverance. I was a single mom. My boys were one in three wow. uh, in the early stages of building my business. And I think looking at them, looking at their little faces, it was like, I can't give up. I have to keep moving forward one step in front of the other every single day. And you'd get some wins along the way. Yeah. You know, I think you'd get a few people to believe in you and you'd go, okay, maybe there is something here, you know, and that would give you another little bit of fuel in the tank to keep fighting another day. You know? I like how you say Texans, uh, they're nice. They'll, they'll <laughs> politely turn you down. Say, oh, bless your heart. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, I've been told no so many different ways. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Let me tell you. It's like not right now. Not right now. Yeah. Maybe. We'll call you. Yeah, exactly. um, but you, you, you keep alluding to the missteps and uh, not just the ups, but the downs. What are some of those missteps for young entrepreneurs that are watching right now saying, I'm just stubbing my toe and I can't get out of my own way? What were some of those moments for you? You know, my first business, I had it for five years. It was a hat company. I did headwear for men and women undergoing chemotherapy, but then also sold every hat you could imagine. And after five years of running that business, I had to close it. Hmm. And Hats were not the next big thing. Right. I thought they were. I wanted it to be like 1940 again. That didn't work out. Um, and I had to close that business. Was it a misstep or was it actually the foundation for my next thing that did work? Right. If I hadn't had the hat box, if I hadn't had that failure, I wouldn't, it, would be, it wouldn't get be where I went Blessing today. Blessing in disguise. It was the bridge mm. that I needed, all those lessons, so many things I learned in that experience to build the successful company I have today. So I tell entrepreneurs or anyone going, through a difficult time. Think about failing forward. Yeah. That if we don't go through these things in our life, we can't learn the things we need to learn because something better That's is good. waiting for you. And this stub toe is going to get you there. That's good. It's, it's going to get you there. Yeah. yeah. Keeping that in mind, just last year, you stepped back from being CEO of yeah. Kendra Scott. What went into that? 
You know, decision. 20 years of CEO is, it was a great run, <laughs> right? A great but run. I have built this amazing team. And one of the things I've realized over my 20-year journey as founder, I'm executive chairwoman, and still majority shareholder of Kendra Scott, is that use the strengths that you're given and find people that are great at the things that you're not great at to fill in those holes. The more I could focus on the vision of the brand for the next 20 years, for the philanthropic side of our company, we started a school at the University of Texas for women the Women's Entrepreneur and Leadership School. Awesome. Uh, we've done so many cool things that now I'm able to do, write a book and share our story, but also still being designer, being in the stores more, meeting my customers, and creating the future of Kendra Scott. Yeah, I want to talk about that TikTok. Tell her, ask her about the TikTok. <laughs> well, I don't know if we have time. Oh. Alabama sorority TikTok videos are in, like are every you... single one. How's that feel? Unbelievable. Kendra I mean, when they're like, Kendra Scott, Scott Kendra, Kendra Scott. Scott. It's yeah. unbelievable. Kendra it's Scott. so great Kendra and so Scott. flattering. I ne never gets old to see people wearing my jewelry and well, loving it. I got some jewelry here of yours. You're going to have to show me how to how to lengthen these out you so I can get them. I got you, Tony. Oh, oh, I got everything you around here. Yeah, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Right now, we will be right back. Thank you.